So you joined the program like literally two months ago. You have a couple deals, right? How much are you making per month with just everything right now? About 11,000 per month. What goes into this? Are you completely, are you full-time into marketing? Like you, you've completely quit your job. It's just full on. This is what you do. Yeah, I'm full on just making this thing work. I was living off of my savings for three months. So it was basically learning from my failures and making mistakes. I actually started to eat into my credit card debt and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. things were getting a little shaky. So I was like trying to like whether I want to call my old boss, but I had a chip on my shoulder because my old boss is my brother. And so he was, you know, saying things like, this is the worst decision you can make. I had a really big chip on my shoulder and I was like, dude, I'm not going back to that chip out. And then the new year's hit, all these business owners that I had been connecting with over the last four months, they wanted to move forward back in January. So yeah, things are going good. Dang, dude, that's crazy. So dude, it's your brother. That's even, that's even harder. Well, and I mean, it's one thing to like work with your brother. Like I work with Nick, right? Like I, I do what he's doing, but it's not like he's like telling me, Hey, that's dumb or, or whatever, you know? So like, was that hard for you? To, like, I guess it was motivation, but it probably was a little bit hard to hear. You're like, dude, why, how was that for you? Yeah, it, it was pretty hard. Cause he, he's running this big business, right? He's pulling in a lot of revenue, running this wood color company that's producing still. And for me to go start my own business, um, I was expecting to hear encouragement, but I got quite the opposite because he wanted me to stick with him and work with him so yeah it was pretty hard that's cool that you that you did that in just a short amount of time too so what would you say was like the as far as mindset goes how was that for you like obviously you have like that that mindset of like I, it's either make or break it right like you, you literally have no other option you burn the boats but like for you what was the hardest thing for you to get that first deal it was finding the right business owner. So I think I went through three different business owners with this first deal in this specific city in niche where finding the right business owner has been the most difficult thing for me. But once you find that right business owner, everything's easy from there. It's so funny when you find the good ones, it's like, it's such a, like a breath of fresh air. And then when you find a yeah. crappy one, you're like, dude, why are there so many crappy business owners out there? Like, how are you even making it? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and, and there's in business, which what crazy, blows my mind. I'm like, like if I'm ever shopping for concrete, dude, I'm gonna actually start freaking looking at guys because half of the concrete guys I've talked to, oh my gosh, I would never <laughs> do my concrete. Yeah. I know it's just concrete, but it's still like, there's a lot of business owners where I probably shouldn't trust them. Exactly, dude. There's like two different types of concrete contractors. There's that one guy who's kind of just sitting around waiting for the bare minimum to just fall on his lap. Yeah. And so he just does what he does to get by. So when you offer him free leads, he's like, yeah, send him over. I'll discuss doing business with you. And after three or four leads, he's like, just completely cuts you off. And so asking the hard questions first is huge key to finding that business owner. I think the the longer you're in the game, you start to realize the questions you need to be asking. And I didn't realize this, but it's like, dude, you take that first call when you chat with them, you you, you kind of know already, like, is this guy really the guy who says he is? If they're the yes man, they're probably not even interested. I kind of like the guys where it's like questioning you a little bit, you know, it's a little bit harder at first, but then I feel like when they do like buy into it, it's like easy. It's totally true. That's like the hardest part. Are you doing this all, all on your own? Do you have a team? Like I know you said you have like an agency, but like, how are you able to do this now with, with I mean, making $11,000. Yeah, so Zach Powell's been on this program quite a bit and he's been providing really good information for you guys. So my agency kind of runs a little bit off of his system. Mm -hmm. um, it's not exactly the same. My selling process is different, but we target areas that Nick teaches us to target in the pre-selling anyway. So we're going to guarantee those results for our customers. And so what you do is you just provide these business owners with the value up front and that's where you're going to get the sell. And so what I do is I just pitch them on on the lead gen along with my SEO because these business owners, they want leads as quick as possible. So SEO is going to take you four to six months to get them ranked. But if you can get them leads the very next day or within a couple of days, 100% of the time that I've offered them the lead generation, they've actually accepted it. It makes more sense to them than SEO. They can't really say no at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, dude, I yeah. can find value in either this way or that way. Some people, I mean, it works for you, obviously, but maybe some people it wouldn't just for the, I don't know, this the sake of like learning the SEO is quick, right? Like if you don't really are confident enough, right? You maybe need to go a little bit slower, but I like that approach of maybe going after both and then getting one. But obviously like yeah. what would you rather have? Like a flat fee or an SEO? I would always recommend flat fee, like what Nick teaches. Flat fee is going to be the less, the least amount of maintenance on your client. I did build trust with a concrete guy where we're doing commission and then he linked me up with his buddy. So now we have an, I have two commission deals, but that's because we have years of trust and I can actually trust this guy to actually pay me the commission deal. But I would probably say no to commission to anybody else. Flat yeah, fee is definitely the way to go. 